And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Lesutosaurus, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube, so thank you. The name means lizard from Lesotho. It's an ornithischian that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Southern Africa, specifically Lesotho. Yep. It was named by Peter Galton in 1978. There's only one valid species, Lesotosaurus diagnosticus. So it is obviously named for the country Lesotho, where it was found. And if you're not familiar with Lesotho, it's contained entirely inside South Africa. It's yes. one of the rare countries that's surrounded on all sides by the same other country. <laughs> I wonder if that feels weird to the residents. It would be kind of weird. Like, no matter which way you go, if you go to another country, you have to go through South Africa. Unless you fly directly out. I guess so. You got to go over it then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> So Lesotosaurus was originally considered to be an ornithopod, but Paul Serino suggested it could be one of the most primitive of known ornithischians. It had some primitive anatomy, like a partially closed hole in its pelvis by a medial wall. Most dinosaurs don't have this. Lesotosaurus has sometimes been confused with Fabrosaurus, an ornithischian from the same time and place, but it was named in 1964. But only a jawbone and three teeth have been described of Fabrosaurus, so it's hard to know this for sure. Richard Butler in 2005 said that Lesotosaurus was a basal member of Neornithischia, which includes Pachycephalosaurus, Ceratopsians, and Ornithopods. It's also possible that it's an early Thyreophorin, which is the same group as Stegosaurs and Ankylosaurs. In 2005, Butler also named a new dinosaur, Stormbergia dangershukai, and some scientists think that it was an adult version of Lesotosaurus, which would make them synonyms. In 2017, Baron Norman and Barrett studied the differences between the two and found that they were mostly different because of their growth. So, maybe. Lesotosaurus was bipedal. It was about three to six feet or one to two meters long, and it had a small skull that was short and flat. Just a little guy. Yeah. It had large eye sockets and large cavities for its jaw muscles. Oh, big <laughs> eyes and a little body. Yeah. And a short, flexible neck. It also had short forelimbs compared to its hind limbs. It had five fingers in each hand, but only four were well developed. And it had long slender legs and, again, small arms. Its hands couldn't really grasp with anything, and it had a slender tail. It was probably a fast runner. It also had a beak-like structure. This beak was covered in a keratin-type material. It had leaf-shaped teeth behind the beak and 12 fang-like teeth in the front of the upper jaws. Hmm. It couldn't chew its food, but it could slice it with its beak. It was omnivorous, probably. This is based on studies of its tooth, which they found that didn't have enough wear on it to be chewing. It probably ate small animals and soft plants. It may have been similar to a gazelle browsing low vegetation and then running off when predators approached. Huh. And it also may have lived in groups. In 2015, scientists CT scanned Lesotosaurus skulls, which gave a much more detailed description of the skull and was used to refer more specimens to the genus. And these specimens were buried together, which is why scientists think they might have lived in groups. They found that Lesotosaurus may have grown to adult size in four years. Wow, that's quick. Mm-hmm. It's got to be able to run off when predators come. <laughs> I guess so. 